Hey guys, welcome back to VO Essentials. Today, very cool video as we're discussing whether I will personally be buying the Oculus Quest Meta Quest 3 this year in 2023 and whether you should purchase the Meta Quest 3 this year or whether you should wait maybe next year or just not buy it at all. This is what we're going to be discussing today. So first, let's go into the documents. Now, before I do that, by the way, the Pimax Crystal has now the eye tracking enabled. So do make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe. As I said, we'll be doing some videos, of course, about the Pimax and the eye tracking and much more content, of course, as well about the MetaQuest 3 when it's coming out. And before it comes out, as of course, Oculus Connect is on September 27. Whew. All right, guys, so let's go first into the specs as uh, MetaQuest 3 specs leaked ahead of Connect 2023. And then let's just go straight into here. So as you can see, first of all, the resolution apparently per eye, allegedly, because it's not confirmed yet, of course, is 2064 by 2208, if I just highlight it here. So this actually, to be honest with you, is not great because, of course, well, to be honest with you, it's less than the Pico 4, right? So let's go into the Pico 4 specs just very quickly as I could show you. So let me just do this and do that and boom, we're inside here. So the specs of the Pico 4, uh, according to Wikipedia, is 2160 by 2160 per eye at 90 hertz. Now that's, you know, pretty much basically 4K. Uh, if we were to compare it again back to the uh, allegedly the actual specs of the Quest Meta Quest 3 will be, well, I mean, you could say it's 4K arguably as well as it will be larger in some sense, 2208. So, you know, we all also know, of course, that the lenses that they're going to be using are going to be pancake lenses, which means they're very flat. I don't have my Pico 4 here, so I can't show you, but the lenses are extremely flat and they're very large and you'll be able to see inside pretty much everywhere. So you don't have to squint or find the best the best spot everything will really be nice and of course meta are quite known for making some really cool colors so normally in terms of colors contrast although if it's lcd then you know we can't expect anything you know there might be some gray areas in the darks but who knows let's see what happens you know let's give them the benefit of doubt right so let's just go back into the actual specs again so LCD display, as I just mentioned, 129 hertz refresh rate. Now, guys, just to give you some example that 129 hertz now, it doesn't mean that it will every single game or every single VR experience will run at 129 hertz. No, it means that every single developer would have to download or well, have to not download anything. They just have to make sure that their game runs at 129 hertz. Otherwise, of course, it's not going to make a freaking difference. Every game will just run at whatever it runs, whether it's 72 hertz even, you know, which is quite old now, but a lot of games are still running at 72 hertz. But the majority of games are now running at 90 hertz, of course. So, you know, it'll be very interesting to see if the 129 is really going to make a big difference versus the 120 hertz that has been running so far. All right, let's go back into the specs. So it'll be pancake lenses, as I mentioned, Snapdragon. XR2 Gen 2 chipset, which is one Gen 2 chip. Uh, at the moment, everything is running on Gen 1. Then we're looking at two to three hours battery life. Now already we did a battery uh, video on this. So do go and check out that video, everybody. It is going to run apparently no more than 200, than two hours, not three hours. But of course, it's going to use more RAM and everything. So in, in comparison to the previous Quest, you could say that the battery is better, even though it's last lasting for as long as what it is lasting on the Quest 2. It's just that it's using more power, but it's still going to be lasting at two hours. And of course, for those who want accessories and things, we'll be able to plug in, no doubt, a you know charging thing to keep it running for longer. All right, let's go back into the specs. So we're looking at 97 horizontal and 93 vertical field of view. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed about this, if really, really it's true, because of course, if we compare it to the Pico 4, the Pico 4 is supposedly uh, if I'm not wrong, 105, around 105 degrees field of view. So if I just try to find the field of view here, if I'm not wrong, it is, yes, there we go. So it's here. As you can see, Pico 4 is 105. And I can tell you that when I do wear my Pico 4, I do feel definitely the effect of the fact that, you know, it feels quite good, the field of view. It feels quite good. It doesn't feel like the HP Reverb G2, which is just there. Sorry, this this one there, uh, which is 90 degrees. So it's, it feels much more tunnel vision. So it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, 
why is Quest coming out with this headset that has got less field of view than the Pico 4? I got no idea because the Pico 5, when that comes out, no doubt it's at least going to be 105, if not more. So I don't know, guys, very, very weird. But we'll talk about Pico and all this kind of stuff and whether you should purchase the Meta Quest 3 today in this year when it comes out or whether you should wait until next year in 2024. So let's just go back to the specs at this moment in time. Let me just go here and then boom, back here. And then, so IPD adjustment will be options and eye relief support. So I guess it will be electronic. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to find out for this. 509 grams, that's still pretty heavy to be honest with you with a headset that's supposedly, if I go to the picture of a Meta Quest 3, let me just do a very quick search for it. So Meta Quest 3, here we go. Uh, normally it would just find it automatically. It should know. Okay, so let me just do a search. Meta Quest 3, there we go. So if I go to images, Meta Quest 3, uh, we should have submitted. So here you go. So I mean, at the end of the day, the, the, you know, the picture here looks quite, you know, it's supposed to be much lighter. So I'm not quite sure why it will still be, uh, you know, at the end of the day, excuse me, everything's gone black. Why it would still be basically, uh, you know, 500 grams. It's a little bit weird to me, to be honest with you. But anyway, there you go. That's that. That's what's going to be happening. That's the lowdown of that. So yeah, 500 grams is what they're basically saying. So let me just go back and just check the final final specs of this article. Um, so basically, users will have a storage space of 128 gigahertz gigabytes, excuse me, or 512. I thought it was 256, but never mind. Uh, USB, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, yes, okay. Depth sensor this time, all right. And full RGB outwards facing camera, full MR color pass-through, which of course we're all looking forward towards for the pass-through itself, uh, for sure. So that's going to be very interesting because compared to the, you know, Pico 4, the pass-through is not that really good. The sensor is not that really good and there is a lot of issues. So now what I'm going to talk about basically, guys, is the fact that should you buy the, you know, Meta Quest 3 in 2023 or wait into 2024 and would I buy it? To be honest, yes, I would definitely buy. You know, on this channel, we have been very much very sensitive content about Meta. We, I have not tried, I have tried a Meta Quest 2, but only very, very recently. Uh, and that's because of my job. And that's because also my job is also the reason why I have not been able to post that much. So very sorry about that, guys. Just been very busy at work as I work for a virtual reality and augmented reality company, producing a lot of content in AR, MR, XR, VR, you know, the whole shebang, even digital twins and AI. Can you imagine it? I'm learning so much new stuff. Anyway, coming back to the video, Yes, I will buy simply because for two reasons. First of all, I can't wait in a certain way to get back into the meta ecosystem. I miss my friends. I miss being able to talk to people. It's much more socially engaging. Yes, it will take my data, but you know what? Eep, it, it doesn't F it is, is what I could say. At the end of the day, Pico also take our data. I can't confirm, but I'm just saying that most on Dowfly, they do take our data as well. So you know what? So be it. I'm just going to go back to Meta because honestly speaking, I'm very disappointed with Pico. Uh, even though I do like the headset, I really think that they've done a great headset. The ecosystem to me just does not work. People are just not, there's just not enough people in it. I love the people that are in it. I've made some good friends in Pico. And if you are a Pico uh, member, hi to you. I love, you know, being part of your community as well. And I do manage a Pico community on Facebook, by the way. So do go and check it out. It's called Pico for, uh, Pico for Facebook community, FB community. So, you know, I love, I love Pico, but I'm just saying I'm very, very let down by the amount of people that are in there. There's just not enough people there. Uh, in terms of technology, it's just not there compared to the Quest 3. I think I'm going to wait for Pico maybe another three years or four years, maybe another two, three iterations before I would splash my cash. So if Pico are not going to provide me with a Pico 5, I just will not purchase the Pico 5. It's really that simple. So I'm going to wait until next future generations of Pico headsets to come out until the community is there, until the technology is there. But until then, you know, I'm going to go back to Meta simply because, as I said, the community is there. I really miss my friends there. And also the technology, it just feels, even the Quest 2 feels so much more better than the Pico 4. To me, when I tried it on, I was so surprised. Do go and check out my Twitter. 
as I posted a tweet about this, I was just so freaking surprised when I put the Quest 2 on, even though I thought I was going to be so disappointed when I would try it on, so old school, old style, not very good. You know what? It just felt so much more professional when I tried it on. I was just really, really surprised. So yes, I will purchase a Meta Quest 3 in 2023. Should you, however, wait until 2024? No, I wouldn't wait. I would just get it in 2023. Even if the Pico 5 comes out, you need to ask yourself this question. Do you want to be part of a community that is very much engaging? There's a lot of people. You can socialize with a lot of people where the hardware doesn't fail you. The OS feels very professional. The headset feels very professional. Or do you want to go with another headset, which perhaps may have better specs on paper, but at the end of the day, their own OS is not running.